G'day viewers, welcome back to the channel. This time, we're going to be doing something on this. We're going to be going from this. To this. So if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. I hope I can teach you something. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. First thing you need is a bit of luck. Pick this up second hand at a local exhaust shop. You can see it's it's been welded in and that. Now usually these can run up to, well, stupid amounts. Hundreds of dollars. But we got lucky. Next, throw the car up on stands. Leave the jack in there just for some added support. And then we need to get up around there, up in there somewhere, and there's a two bolt flange we need to undo. And just before I pull everything out, I'm just going to size up the new one to see. We're going to need a bit of an extension on that. Sometimes a rattle gun just can't help. A favourite tip of mine, first, don't work on grass because you lose stuff. Second, put all your hardware back where it was. That way you know where it is. But first I need to find that nut. Just another point, we actually had this exhaust out like last week, we had to replace the clutch, uh, so the exhaust had to come out, so all this is loose. Uh, when you try this, squirt those with a bit of penetrating fluid, because they will be rusty, they will be bound up, and they will be a lot harder to get off than what you just saw. And as for the hangers... A bit of degreaser, WD-40, oh look, found that nut. Degreaser, WD-40, whatever you have. A little squirt on the hanger. And that should just slide out. There we go. Now to get the one on the back, and this piece is out. The back here, there's a hanger there, and the one over there. Again, spray them with a bit of WD-40, it should slide straight out. Now I'm just gonna measure between those two hangers just to make sure when I make the new ones, I have enough length. And I'm not liking the fact that they're offset. That's, mm-hmm. So, that back there. They look like they're about, let's say 330 centers apart. That's something to work with. Now to make the hangers, I started off with this 12 millimeter or half inch. It's actually like 11.7 millimeters, but let's not quibble. Uh, solid length of solid steel galvanized bar. It's like a meter long. It's about eight bucks from your local Bunnings. And we're gonna do some bending. What makes bending easier?
at the 330 center to center it means it needs to be at least well somewhere around 200 I'm going to cut it off at 250 just to make sure I have enough length because I'm then going to have to bend it up to weld it onto the retaining strap so mark 250 Do the same thing to the other end I'm just going to give it a bit more because I may have to do some more bending on that yet let's see let's go and cut these off Just gonna pop these hangers in place just to see what sort of line I have on them. So that one. Now, looking at them, they're they're not they don't line up. If they go up square, they're well at different heights for starters, and they're about. 40 millimeters apart. So unless we bend and then straighten a bit more, those two, that that hanger strip, I mean, it's not going to work. So okay, let's do that. Let me explain what I've done here. I know the centres of the hangers are 330 millimetres apart, and I know they're offset by, well, that much, because that's what I measured under the car, and then I measured it, and it's 50 millimetres. These two lines here are 330 millimetres apart. These two lines here are 50 millimetres apart. Then I split the difference, 25 millimetre line down the middle, and that is where... 25 millimeters sits on those hangers now the problem with that is that's not where they need to be uh, because well we have the width of the the muffler to consider so these need to be sort of almost out here so they actually need that's bent too much or well, yeah that's got to go back more and that's got to come in more because if we add that to the equation you see where I'm going? And they may not sit right on the centre line either. They may sit halfway up. I don't. We don't know until we get it all underneath and figure all that stuff out. But yeah, the, these will need more tweaking. It's just a matter of where and how much. All right, I've got the new muffler just balanced on the jack there, and <laughs> that already looks better. But let's continue and see if we can make it sound better. Alright, let's see if we can get this hanger in without me getting in your way. Alright, I'm just going to adjust this uh, strap, this hanger strap, so it lines up with the two hangers. I'm just going to put the other one in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to push that in. 
go in. It's not gonna go in. All right. Swing them out. No, it's gonna sit about there. I need to get a length on these so I know where to bend them. Alright. So that one needs to be about there. And this one needs to be probably about there. Okay. Let's go bend these. There goes the muffler. Now we need to bend these so they go up. up there and I got the hangers in but they're not quite where I need them and they're a little bit long notice up the top there they're longer than that clamp so next move I'm just gonna mark them and cut them back So we mark that one, yeah, about there. And the other side. Yikes. Okay, here comes fun. All right, can you see? About there. All right, take them out, cut them back. That looks a bit better. I go forward just a little bit more and it's time to get the welder out so that hanger is looking pretty good it's a lot of contact let's see if I can get you up here uh, get a shot day there we go lots of contact on that on the other side not so much so I'm gonna tweak that just a little bit Okay, we'll let that cool down. Try it again. Well, it's the next day because the sun won't bob eyes, so couldn't do anything else because I had no light. Let me just talk about placement for a second. There's two things to consider when you're talking about placement. One is well the look of it, and the other is sort of the the safety issues. And what I mean by that is you don't want it too close to the body. See up there, there's a bit of a gap. Not much of a gap, but a bit of a gap. 
between the body panel and the muffler itself. You don't want it hitting and rattling on anything. And of course there's the the legal parameters. Look those up for your area. But that placement is pretty dang good. The hangers are now sitting nice and comfortable. <coughs> so now we can tack them into place. And here's the tip of the week. No matter what car, no matter what you're doing, if you're welding on a car, disconnect your battery. Now this is isolated by rubber hangers, but eventually that pipe will be connected to that pipe, which is directly connected to the engine. You start welding, you're going to put stupid amounts of voltage through the battery and the system, and you're likely to blow all sorts of systems. Make sure you disconnect your battery before you start welding. That's got it. Alright. Let that cool down before we pull it out. Anyone who says you can't weld mild steel to stainless steel, well, I just did it. Yeah. Alright, our next move is we have to cut this off. Now, I've previously stated that I don't like doing things like this. If, if this was on my car, I'd be going to a wreckers or something, getting another piece, probably one that's no good. It's just for the pipe and adding it onto the pipe itself. I don't feel bad about this because, well, one, it's not my car, two, the muffler's about to blow out anyway. have a real problem because it might look alright from there but um, it's, it's a bit far off uh -huh. so not only do we have a bit of length to fill in we have a bit of well that length so I've already been in the muffler shop got a short piece of two inch pipe what we're going to do is we're going to cut it here and here. We're going to rotate that and then stretch that out basically till it works. <laughs> have the jigsaw puzzle and basically what we need to do is like move bits around and figure out where they're going to be best suited so 
That looks pretty good like that, actually. And then we just put a straight piece in the middle there. We have a little bit of movement we can play around with. So I'll just get a Sharpie marker. I'll put a line there. That is where they need to match up. Now I get this one. About there. Put a mark there. That's where we need to tack them. time we put it in now we need to take it back out and weld it all solid all right this is probably the most or one of the most important parts of welding up an exhaust as you see I've fully welded probably the ugliest welds in history and then I just went around and hit them with a just knocked the tops off with a flat disc after I hit everything with a why well now I'm gonna take an air blower shove a rag in the other end rag around this shove that in this end blast it with air and we're gonna feel for any pinholes There's one there. And you feel a pinhole. Locate it. Found it. Stop. on that so you can't feel any air coming out anywhere if you don't trust your hands get some soapy water sorry about all the noise the welder compressor and air all going at the same time so that feels pretty good I think we're good well that's not bad one pinhole and the final touch go to flat black
about a week ago. I've heard zero feedback, so that's always a good thing. Thanks for watching. I hope someone got something out of that. If you learned something, you like what you saw, hit that like button down below. Way down there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Doesn't hurt, doesn't cost you anything. Helps me out. And you'll find out when the next one's coming. And I'll see you on the next one.